In the season of Easter, we celebrate how God overcame death by raising Jesus from the grave and giving him a special job. Because Jesus had to leave this world to do this special job, he promised to leave behind his spirit as a guide. One of the very first things the spirit did was gather together many of Jesus' followers, people who lived in different places and spoke different languages. When they were finally all together in one place, suddenly the wind picked up and started to swirl all around them. Then lights like little fires began to hover over them. Filled with so much energy from the strange storm, they began to wonder aloud what was happening. That's when they noticed that even though they were all speaking in their own language, they could understand one another. Understanding one another meant that they could start working together and to build something. And you know what they built? The church. When we talk about the church, we aren't talking about a building. The church is what we call people working together to spread God's message. In the sudden storm of wind and light, Jesus' followers realized that they could work together to spread God's message of unity and love and justice to the whole world. The day that the church was born marks the end of Easter, and we call this day Pentecost, because Pentecost means 50. That's the number of days it took the Spirit to gather believers together. And every year, to celebrate the church's birthday, we dress in red, which is the color of fire. We decorate the church with pinwheels or kites or other things that remind us of how the Spirit is like the wind, unseen but powerful enough to make things move. And we sing special songs about the Holy Spirit because it's the Spirit that helps us to understand each other and to work together. So today, we say happy birthday to the church, and we promise to continue the work that started on that first Pentecost day, the work of spreading God's love to the whole world.